you know, you can replace a furnace in a day. Uh, you can't always get through a, uh, a roof uh, um, with all the insurance claims and everything else going on that's surrounded to get that done. Sometimes yeah. it's days, weeks, and months. Hi, everybody. This is Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing. And in our last Ask an Expert video, we were talking to Karsten Museus with Keller Williams Real Estate. And we were talking about roofing and real estate transactions. So I'd encourage you to go check out that last video. Lots of information about whether or not home inspectors know what they're doing when they get up on a roof. In our video this time, though, we're going to ask Karsten the question, if the roof needs to be replaced as part of the sale, can that occur after closing? We found out I have to re-roof my house. Yep. But we close in 10 days. <laughs> of course. Can, 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 can the roof replacement, can that happen after closing? Uh, I'm going to talk out of both sides of my mouth. You ready? Yeah, because I think there's yes and no answers to that. Yes. All right. Um, can it be done? Uh, theoretically, yes. Uh, why do I say it that way? Um, there's a whole lot involved here. I'm going to now put on, uh, I used to own mortgage companies, so I'm going to put on a mortgage lender's hat for a second for you, Tracy, and I'm going to be that guy. If I find out that I'm ready to make the loan, everybody's good, everybody's happy supposedly, but then it comes to my attention that there's a roof issue that has not been taken care of and um, that it's uh, uh, not going to be done prior to closing, walk in uh, the lender's moccasins for a second here. If I lend on that home and that roof has not been completed, technically speaking, I have an unsaleable loan on my hands as a lender. I cannot offload that, reload my guns with more money and make more loans. I've got to hold on to that till I'm absolutely sure that that roof's taken care of or I inherit major liability as uh, you know, so to speak, the retail lender to the public on this, because the guys I generally sell my product off to as a lender uh, want to know that uh, we don't have a roof issue, uh, among other things. Let's say, uh, and this will take a little time, but I'm going to give you some scenarios. What happens, Tracy, if somebody agrees as a lender to do it, and then the work never gets done, the, uh, the uh, roofer goes out of business? Uh, yeah any number of things, all of a sudden, there's a great liability there. You may say, does this really happen? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it happens not entirely infrequently. There are times when that's the case. May I, may I echo an opinion? If you're listing your home, why not have somebody look at it at the very beginning so you know in advance that you're going to face a problem to start with? Excellent. Not your insurance company, but an actual... Yeah. Tracy person who yep. we can trust to get an honest evaluation. Excellent right? point. Yep. And, and, um, you know, you can replace a furnace in a day. Uh, you can't always get through a, uh, a, a roof uh, um, with all the insurance claims and everything else going on that's surrounded to get that done. Sometimes yep. it's days, weeks, and months. Okay, uh, so let me, let me interject some information that will be helpful for homeowners that are listening realtors that are listening again i mean if you're a realtor and you haven't had to go through some of these gymnastics related to the roof it's going to be information that's going to be really really helpful for you i think so you know especially if there's been a hailstorm which that happens occasionally here we've in been known States. in this area to have a few right yes yeah um if there's been a hailstorm and roofers are overtaxed with trying to get work done it's not an uncommon situation where that home inspection happens two weeks before closing or two weeks before projected closing or something like that. Now, all of a sudden, we have people calling us. And they're like, you know, I'm supposed to close in two weeks. Can you get this roof done? Well, no, actually, we can't. We've got 15 other roofs ahead of you or whatever, right? And a number so, of them are buy, buy, sell situations, not just right. refinances we're waiting on. So everybody right. else wants theirs done, too. Right. So, so this, what happens in that point is we get asked 
by the mm -hmm. realtors that are involved, would you be willing to be paid in full out of escrow after closing, whether we're doing the roof before closing or whether we're doing the roof after closing? It happens both ways, right? That's what we get asked. Well, of course, if we're working with a realtor who we know and trust, we're far more likely to do, to do that, okay? Yeah. So like if we're working with Karsten and we get asked that question, yeah, of course, we'll, we'll get paid in full after closing. But what you said uh, just a little bit ago, like is lighting all kinds of lights for me, right? It's like, oh, I never thought of that. Like what you said, okay, so if the roofer agrees, sure, we'll get paid after closing, We'll get paid out of escrow after closing, but we can't do the roof until after closing. And all the other players agree to that. Boom, what happens if the roofer just disappears? Then, then what? What happens? Or um, uh, I had one happen in the past. Um, he passes away. Oh, jeez. Um, tragic. And everybody was left a bit holding the bag. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what happens in situations, not, not that particular one, but let's just say a lender is gracious enough to say, okay, as long as we're comfortable enough and everybody's got it in place and we've confirmed with the insurance company that there ago, we've confirmed with the buyers and sellers that they're in agreement on this post-closing action. We've talked, the agents are all in agreement. The roofer, probably the key linchpin, is going, yep, I got your back. I, you can count on me to do that. Frequently what uh, uh, will happen is, um, and, and even title companies are reluctant to do this anymore uh, because they, in, in Colorado, they're the ones that uh, uh, help close the transaction between buyers and sellers and all the paperwork. And we're asking them in some cases to retain from the seller 150% of the bid to replace the roof. So it's sitting there um, in the event what happens if the roofer has a bid and then he, un he undoes everything and says, oh my gosh, the decking underneath is completely rotten. Yeah. So unanticipated things with the best of intentions. Well, there better be some money there, even if there's good intentions, to be sure that there's enough to cover what goes on. We're in an extremely seller, I mean, hot seller market. All right. So things get bought the minute they go up for sale almost. Okay. That's not a complete accurate truth, but it's some 90% truth. I mean, multiple offers, blah, blah, blah. This pushes the envelope even more. I mean, you don't even have time sometimes. I mean, you put it up for sale and two days later, you got 15 offers and you accept one and they do an inspection and the closing's in like a cash offer, uh, 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 but we're still going to have an inspection, uh, uh, but uh, two weeks. Oh, that's great. And then you have an inspection, trashed roof. Mm -hmm. Now what? And if you're up to your elbows as a roofing company, or a lot of them are, and you don't have, have time, can it get done that quickly? Well, then we have to extend closings. Now, if you add the lender back into it, who's going, whoa, um, I'm not as good as a cash buyer. Uh, uh, I'm not as lenient as you guys may be, Mr. Cash Buyer. We, we're lending on that property being in good shape and uh, we don't particularly get involved in all the nuances of the people. We just wanna know that everything's in place. Hi everybody, hey, I wanna remind you that this is video number two in a series that we did with Carson about topics related to roofing and real estate transactions. If you've got questions about this particular topic, uh, feel free to give us a call at our office. Our phone number is right up here, 719-433. 6991. You can also visit our website. That's right down here, homesteadroofingcolorado.com. Also, if you've got questions that you'd like us to address publicly, leave those in the comments section down below. We read and respond to every question that we get on our YouTube videos. Also, if you like this video, if it's been helpful for you, we'd love it if you would give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon up there so that way you get notified when we've got new videos. And like I say, check back in with us. We're gonna keep publishing more videos addressing roofing and real estate transactions with our expert, Karsten Museus with Keller Williams. Until our next video, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.